The Maldives muzzle now does not attempt to see in any soon. Outgoing President Abdullah Yameen refuses to let go out of power. And while the country sorts that mess out, daughter of the ex-president of Maldives, Mamoon Abdul Gayoom, and former Maldives Foreign Minister, Dunya Mamoon, is in India. Speaking exclusively to Vion, Dunya Mamoon expressed her hope for rebuilding bilateral ties with New Delhi, while also extending her support for the Me Too movement. Listen in. Maldives is undergoing a lot of changes. We saw elections in Maldives and there's a regime change. The new president will take oath in November. With me is Dunya Mamoon, who is uh, the former foreign minister of Maldives and uh, uh, the daughter of uh, a famous president of Maldives who was responsible for putting democracy in uh, the tiny Indian Ocean uh, country. Ma'am, welcome to Vion. My first question is, what is the focus of your visit? What brings you here in New Delhi? Uh, first of all, it's a pleasure to be back in Delhi. I have visited many times uh, as foreign minister and also in the past as a close friend of India. As you know, uh, my father, uh, Mamun Abdul Qayyum, the former president, was the one who was the architect really of modern democracy in the Maldives. He developed the country um, to very high levels. He also was uh, instrumental in building a very warm friendship uh, with India. And I think that was really very much again the basis for the relationship between these two countries. So I came here representing my father in an informal, um, to have some informal meetings. I've had a number of meetings and in particular, I would like to say I'm very pleased to have been able to call on Her Excellency, uh, the External Affairs Minister, Ms. Sushma Swaraj, who I know obviously from the past where we were colleagues who worked closely together on many issues. Um, I believe that um, with the new uh, government coming in, in the Maldives, that it is time that we look to rebuild the trust that uh, was there between our two countries in the past. And it is my hope that the president-elect, uh, when he becomes or takes office, is going to look at building back that trust and that close warmth that existed between our two countries. There's a close people-to-people -people contact. We're hearing of lots of issues, including visas and other matters. And I hope we can resolve them. And I am confident that the new president would lead us um, down mm. this path. Mm. Ma'am, can you share uh, some developments in your country? The election, of course, was a pleasant surprise for New Delhi. Uh, so can you share the development main focus? What is happening in your country? Yes, I think the whole world has been watching very carefully. As we know, um, the leadership of President Yamin, while he brought some developments, the, mostly a lot of people lived in fear and in an environment where there was a lot of political persecution. Um, using the courts, he was able to lock up and convict a lot of innocent people uh, under various charges. And this included, obviously, my father, who at his age and given his health, uh, it was a difficult time uh, for him personally, my mother, and also, of course, uh, my family. My brother was in prison, my brother-in-law, and many, many other political figures who he really uh, felt threatened by. And I think it was sad to see this kind of situation in our country. So we were all very relieved to see that the Maldivian people's decision is really not to condone such kind of behaviors from their leaders and to hold them accountable. And hence, we saw the Maldivian people decisively voted for freedom, for democracy, for human rights. And I firmly believe that this decision and the will of the people needs to be fully implemented. Uh, all our institutions have backed that and supported that, and the Elections Commission has formally announced results. There's a huge margin, so there's really no room for any discussion or debate on it. Unfortunately, President Yamin is a very sore, very bad loser, and he's refusing to accept this. He has gone to court. I am confident that our courts will show uh, justice is done and that the will of the people is upheld. Mm -hmm. uh, Ma'am, I know uh, you have uh, you don't have much time. You're you're here in New Delhi for a very short duration. Uh, last question on the Me Too movement because this is something which everyone is discussing. Whether you are New York or New Delhi, how do you see this new, uh, uh, Me Too movement? Given the fact that you have done a lot of things when it comes to uh, gender. Mm -hmm. Of course, I think it's a very important global movement that we see worldwide. I'm very glad to see uh, women, particularly victims, who have now found the courage to speak up on the uh, discrimination, also particularly um, the kind of uh, situations that they had to uh, face. And uh, I think it's important that uh, in all countries that we 
kind of join up with this movement. My own country, I also worked on legislation on anti-domestic violence, and uh, I think there's a lot more work that we do need to do, and I hope that Maldives will be part of uh, the global movement to promote women's rights and to address issues of violence against women. And um, I think uh, I wish the movement every success, and I'm sure there's a lot of men out there who are supporting women in their quest also to address these very, very serious issues. And I know India, for example, is very much in the spotlight. Um, we are saddened to hear of um, extreme violence and rape cases and other issues, which are there in every country, but which I think is showing some kind of extreme um, kind of manifestations in some countries. So it is important that we work together as the region together as well as globally on these issues. Well, thank you so much, ma'am. So that was Dunya Mamun speaking exclusively to Vion on host of uh, issues, but of course, focus on the political developments in Maldives.